Hello, my name is Holden. Welcome to Holden My Digivice. I am back after a hiatus. Um, for those of you who are loyal watchers, all five of you, um, <laughs> I, I'm sorry for the long wait. Uh, COVID was a cool time to start this project, but the reality is, is COVID kind of slowed down a bit. I needed to get uh, my work kind of back on track, and I needed to put more time into that, and I'm kind of back to the part of the year where I can I can upload videos occasionally. They're not going to be as frequent as they were before, and for those of you who are wanting that, I apologize, but that's just, just not a realistic output for me. For those of you who just enjoyed my ranting and reviewing of V-Pets, I appreciate you guys coming back. Um, today, I am running, and let me switch here, see if I can switch my brightness up for you guys. Maybe. <laughs> well, or not. Okay. Well, anyways, I, uh, I've been running this, uh, version 15 for the past couple months, just here and there. As you can see, I got BM on right now. I would shake it for you. Um, actually, I think I can. There she goes. Um, yeah, so I've been running this. I have gotten all the Digi Destiny Digimon. If you follow my Instagram, you will know that I've gotten Omnimon. So yeah, pretty pretty happy about that. Um, I'm really enjoying running this, and it's kind of a fun nostalgia trip for me. Yes, even though it's Japanese, um, it's just really fun uh, to kind of go through the adventure of the original Digidestin. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm on the last area, if I show you the map there... This is uh, basically the map for our war game. So once I complete this, I'll have essentially have beat the entire game, to my knowledge. Um, which is happy and sad. Right now I'm trying to get all the Megas. Um, and then I need to get Hackmon, I believe, is still unlockable on here. Um, but I've really liked the device. Um, can I recommend it to viewers? If you have the money and you need to have one, it's okay. It is a cool device. It's a cool part for a collection. I love using the battle system. Seems the most fair. But at the same time, the price is just ridiculous. I got mine for an okay price. It was scratched. Um, as you can see, there's no scratches on this device. I had to really work hard um, scrubbing those off. And then I put a protective film over the screen so that wouldn't happen again. Um, so I got an okay deal on mine, but it's just really hard to recommend. If you're an adult and you got a job and you can afford one and you really want one, go for it. Um, but for those of you who maybe you want one, but your job doesn't, isn't, <laughs> you don't have enough fun budget to buy one, the Digivice version complete, I think the pre-order is over at this point. But that Digivice, um, will likely be scalped and be sold on eBay, and so if you're going to get one, getting one of those as early as possible might be your best bet. Um, I will be reviewing the Digivice version complete when it comes in. I don't get mine until February, so people who got them through proxy sites will actually get them faster than me, because I went through the Premium Bandai US website to get my Digivice version complete. But this November, or rather late November, I should be getting my um, Digimon Adventure colon or Digimon Adventure 2020 Digivice. And I'm really excited about that. And that's actually, I want to kind of bring that up to the topic of the video. Is I really want to kind of give you guys my opinions on the reboot Digimon Adventure. And I've been watching them with my wife and we're up to uh, episode 15. So here's your last chance. If you haven't watched the series yet... I'm giving spoilers up to episode 15. Okay? Again, spoiler alert. If you watch the rest of this and then your feelings get hurt because I tell you things, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Okay. Anyways. So, um, Digimon Adventure Reboot, um, or Digimon 2020. I love it. There are aspects of it I think I would have done differently. But I am neither a director, or a storyboard writer, or a voice actor. So all those my opinions are worth literally a grain of salt. Um, here are the things that I love. 
I love how they're still focused on a character growth being a part of the Digimon evolution process. Um, I think that is integral to the magic that is Digimon. And it really accentuates the earned feeling for the evolutions. We don't see it as much for the champion level, but a lot of the ultimate level, I'm going by English terms, uh, ult ultimate level evolutions feel very earned. With the exception of maybe Sora's, um, and uh, I, I could, my mind could be changed on that if someone gives me a good perspective, but I've, I've really enjoyed it. I think my favorite two episodes are the episode where you get Metal Greymon, and actually, well, top three, because I really like the Metal Greymon episode, which I think is ten, maybe? And then I think it's episodes 14 and 15 is uh, Izzy or Koshiro and Alter Kabuterimon, or we know it in the U.S. as Mega Kabuterimon, and Joe and Zudomon. Those episodes were just so cool. I loved them. I mean, it was it really showed the relationship between the Tamer or the Digidestin and their Digimon, and that really is the show, right? It should be the Digimon helping the kids grow and the kids growing as people along the Digimon to grow. And I think that's just really, really cool. I, like I said, that is part of the magic that is Digimon. And I am ecstatic to see that. My One of my favorite scenes uh, is when, episode 15, I believe, and it's Joe and Ikakumon, and they're on the ice bridge, and Mammoth Mon and a whole squadron of Frigimon are walking across at them. Joe is underpowered, he's scared, and he's outnumbered. And I think the fact that Joe decides to be reliable and stand his ground is one of the coolest scenes in the anime. Absolutely love it. If you are a Digimon fan and you want to support Digimon so we can get more stuff like this or more V-Pets... Please try and support the release of the card game if you're into card games or the TV show because this is some really cool stuff. We're getting a lot of attention to an old franchise, and it seems to be they want to do it right, and I really, really appreciate that. I mean, these characters are just they're, – they're part of our childhood for a lot of us. Some of us, this is the characters that got us into – you know, this is one of the things that got us into VPET collecting. You know, Digimon has different lures for different people, but it, they seem to be putting a lot of effort in. And me growing up, um, you know, I'm, I'm in my mid-20s now, and I grew up with both Digimon and Pokemon. And out of the two of them, Digimon seems to be the franchise that recognizes me as you know, a target audience still that says, okay, we, we don't get it. It's still a kid's show, but for our older audience, here's some cool stuff. And I think that is just really nice. You don't get that out of a lot of franchises. So my overall review for Digimon 2020 is an 8 out of 10. Um, maybe actually 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. There are a couple episodes that kind of fall flat. And there are a couple evolution scenes that seem arbitrary, but I really think the show is hitting its stride. In episode 16, which I told you no, I'm not going to tell you spoilers for it, but episode 16 was really compelling, and I think we're going to see a tone shift. And I'm really excited for that. I really am. I think the show's going in the right direction, and I think a lot of the gripes I might have now, which I'm not really sharing a whole lot of my gripes, and that's kind of on purpose because I, I have a prediction. A lot of the things I'm kind of you know, complain, I'm going to complain about will probably get fixed. Absolutely love the show. But I want to know is how many of you guys are watching Digimon Adventure 2020 or Digimon Adventure colon? And uh, let me know in the comments um, if you're watching it or not, if you like it or not. Um, if you have pre-ordered the Digimon Adventure 2020 Digivice or the Digivice version complete, Tell me out in the comments. I'm excited for that. I love interacting with you guys. I do have some cool stuff coming up for you. I did order a Pendulum uh, X, which is which would kind of complete my three-pronged Digivice collection, and I really plan on showing that with my Digivice Mini or Digimon Mini. Sorry, 
together. That'll be coming up probably, um, probably sometime in October, maybe November. It depends how shipping is. It, I'm getting it from Thailand, so you know what can you do? Um, but stay tuned, guys. I again, I can't promise daily uploads. I'm not even sure if I can promise weekly uploads, but I want to start uploading Digimon stuff again because I'm just really excited for this stuff, and I think this is just. It's a good time to be into Digimon. And next video, stay tuned. I'm going to give you guys kind of my opinion on the mobile game Digimon Rearise. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. See you. Bye, guys.